Well, a guy went ahead and bought an H-body race car. <laughs> oh, I think I've completely lost my mind. This definitely tops my too many adult beverages at night on the interwebs purchases. And it's probably overall my worst idea. Or is it the greatest? <sighs> I've been saving on this one, but went ahead and dug her out of the trees and got her up on the car lift here. And might as walk around it and see what we got. Never owned an H-body, so I'm going to be learning all the technicals with you on this one. I'm not even sure what it has for an engine. I think it's a 140 or a 151. I don't know. It's It's got a four banger in her. But looks sweet. That's all that counts, right? So let's go look at this thing and see what we got. Jiminy Christmas. Hang in there now with me, fellas. There's a lot of sweetness to be had with this automobile. I mean, just, I mean, look at it. Get in there and look at this thing. Um, it does have four wheels. That's positive. <sighs> kind of a cage-ish thing in there. Ish. Tires are really good. I mean, dumb a hole there. Just fine. Body's straight. You put laser down that thing. And let's not forget the fact that she's got hood pins on her. That brings the value up about four bucks. Bumper Honest to goodness, is she's straight. Custom grill here. And then, oh yeah, look at that thing. Eiffel Tower of Power. She'll get her done. I'm not even sure what that is. You guys can let me know in the comment box what I'm looking at here. Uh, all I know is she's a four banger and she might need an air cleaner. I'm not sure. Manual brakes. She's got a new battery cable on her. And that's yep, good enough. She'll run. What else we got going on here? This tire's down. She'll come back out of it though. She was leaking some water when I pulled her out of the hiding spot. Barbecue pit cover. Guy needs them. Got a battery box with some plumbing tape. That'll hold her in. Spare tire. I do know that's a Camaro steering wheel. Uh, this is important. Go fast, turn left. What do we got? Nothing. Great. The only gauges a guy needs. Oil pressure and the old water temperatures. And this even has an owner's manual in her. Uh, go fast, turn left. That's some pretty good advice. Um, let's see. Coin slot. Definitely going to put a cup holder in right about there. And the welds in this thing are just, they're real good. So I feel safe. All the guy needs is a hoop over the old brain bucket and you're fine. I'm not sure why the rearview mirror is still in there, but anyway, that's the package. I really need to quit shopping on the lines without looking at these first because this is. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this thing. Right now, I think I'm going to spray some of this here gunk on her. I like this gel stuff. Once you get her in there, she sits, just hangs on to the engine. Then I'll drive her down to the car wash while that's soaking in. And then we'll uh, dump some water down on it. See if we can clean her up a little bit. And then I'm just going to put it back into the trees until I can figure out what a guy's gonna do with her, I guess. I wonder how hard it is for a guy to snag a V8 into these things. There we go. Match made in heavens. Oh, I think she's got a header on her. Hmm. What am I looking at here? We got some header action? Oh, and she's open. I'll be dipped. I really like this. Like I was saying, fellas, I've tried about everything on the market, and this gunk stuff 
it's nice because once you get her on there she just hangs in there and I got enough time I could drive all the way down to the car wash and she'll still be on there soaking in zing spray right off I wonder when they're gonna come out with pine tree smell there's pot looks like it had an oil change never by the way I have zero idea if this thing runs. I guy said it might have, but it's been sitting in the field for a long time. Guy twisted on the old fan here and she just slipped, so I don't even know if the engine's broke free, but it's a Chevy. I'm not worried about it. Look at the distance on this stuff. You can't make this up. She's still getting in there. Well, let's rip her down to the car wash and dump some water on it and see if we can rejuvenate the engine. Well, the guy forgot I had my going to town pants on, so I had to suit up a little bit. I also forgot my hood prop 300, so I'm just gonna give her a bath. <laughs> All that gunk still hanging on there. So I'll go put some dollars in this thing and get to spraying. Got her back to the shop here and the guy can actually see what's going on now that the 639 quarts of oil are off the engine and whatnot. It looks a little better. Actually got some color here and there. Well the guy's about 89.7% positive that that's a Durabilt 140. And I got that reputation for being a really durable uh, aluminium block. Well, it's about 77% aluminium, 17% silicon, and the rest is gunpowder and bald eagles. This one has a two barrel fuel can flavors in it. Ow! Ugh. Mosquito just got me in the ear. Dang! Anyway, like I said earlier, she's already got a header on her. And Apparently there's just so much blow-by in this puppy, they just said to heck with the filters and threw some rags over her. So my guess is, she's a little more than a little tired. She's going to need some wires. Looks like the mice really got in her. But the good thing is, I think that's the only five wires in the entire car. But we'll find out. I think now, we might as well throw a battery in her and see if we get anything out of it. Only got these switches here, we'll figure that out. Because the guy can't uh, do anything with the fan. And I'm too lazy to put a socket wrench on the old pulley, so we'll just hit her with the starter and see what happens. I think we'll snag the battery out of the Camaro here. By the way, you guys want to see more on this here thing? Let me know. You know what have we got? Alright, that battery's gone. Well, I guess we'll go take some parts off of Rocky. And, oh, she's still got a battery in her, so we'll snip that out. The guy's getting really good at taking parts off the only car that runs, so why stop now? I'll just snag this one out. Man, it is hotter than a Summit Racing catalog in here. Whew. Get off of there. <sighs> Heaters are getting thick. I thought Wisconsin only made cheese and making a murderer, but turns out they do batteries too. This one's been overboiled about 48 times and still works. Oh, we just got a snagger in back here. I wonder if there's still cables. Um, yeah, here's one. Looks like a cable of some kind. 
maybe one over there, so we'll just snip around and see what happens. I can't tell if that's a Massey Ferguson with a mower deck or a 600 horsepower brakes and strap. It's too loud! Shut her down! Alright, what do we got here? This and that's ground. Yes, that's. Positive. Oh, look at that. Thanks to my gunk can, she's sitting level. Okay. Yep, yep. What do we got here? Carnation. Nothing feels like neutral. I don't know. We'll just go with that. All right. On this one's got the bigger wires. Oh, I can hear a fuel pump. Listen. Are you listening? Shh. Listen. Did you hear that? Fuel pump. What's this one? Radio maybe, I don't know. Airbags, uh, is that main ignition? All right, and then we got a go button over here. Oh, made noises. Boom. Uh-oh. She turns. No idea if it has oil pressure. That ain't important. Guy just got thinking. Should probably go ahead and check on the fuel system here. Ouch. Yeah. Mm, okay. What are we gonna do here? Just a jimmy jug? Throw them over here in that mouse nest and toss some junk on it and clamp her down? Yep. Okay, so we need a fuel tank, some rubber line, a couple sparkulator wires. That air cleaner is clearly good. And uh, maybe she'll fire off. Well, since she turned over for four seconds, I did the right thing and just registered for an SCCA rallycross race in six days, so that's good. We got quite a bit of work to do, I guess, so. I guess next episode we'll wheel her off the old car lift here and get to work because we got a race coming up, boys. <sighs> if you've got any ideas, go ahead and put them down in the old bleep bloops because I'm going to need all the help I can get. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.